As we gather to celebrate the birth of our Lord, let us delve into the profound significance of Christmas, focusing on the Gospel of Matthew and the unique connection to Bethlehem, the house of bread, in Matthew chapter 2 verse 1. Bethlehem, the house of bread, the Gospel of Matthew reveals that the birth of Jesus took place in Bethlehem, a name that translates to the house of bread. This seemingly simple detail carries a deep symbolic meaning. In John chapter 6 verse 35, Jesus declares, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. Bethlehem, the house of bread, becomes the birthplace of the bread of life, emphasizing Christ's role as the sustenance for our spiritual hunger. Comparative reference passages. To enrich our understanding, let's explore comparative reference passages. In the Old Testament, Micah chapter 5 verse 2 prophecies the Messiah's birth in Bethlehem. This aligns with Matthew chapter 2 verse 1, establishing the continuity of God's redemptive plan throughout history. The scriptures converge, pointing to Bethlehem as the significant location for the arrival of the Messiah. Additionally, in Isaiah chapter 55 verse 1, the invitation is extended to, Come, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters, and he who has no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. The metaphor of buying without money echoes the grace freely given in the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem, emphasizing that the bread of life is accessible to all. The humble birthplace of the king, the choice of Bethlehem as the birthplace of the king of kings is a testament to God's preference for humility. Pope Benedict XVI, in his commands, emphasizes the importance of humility in our faith. Christmas challenges us to embrace the humility of the manger, a humble birth that carries profound significance for all humanity. Pope Benedict's commands on charity, Pope Benedict XVI encourages us to embrace charity as a fundamental aspect of our faith. Christmas, as the celebration of God's love incarnate, calls us to live out this charity in our lives. In Bethlehem, we witness the charity of God manifested in the gift of His Son. May our celebration of Christmas be an opportunity to express charity and love toward one another, mirroring the divine love born in Bethlehem. Responding to the bread of life, as we celebrate the birth of Jesus in the house of bread, our response is crucial. In John chapter 6 verse 51, Jesus declares, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. Christmas invites us to partake in the bread of life, to receive Christ into our lives and allow His presence to nourish and sustain us. In conclusion, my dear parishioners, as we celebrate this Christmas in the house of bread, may the symbolism of Bethlehem deepen our appreciation for the bread of life born in a humble manger. Let us heed the commands of Pope Benedict XVI to embrace humility and charity, responding to the divine love that descended to dwell among us. May the peace and joy of Christmas be with you and your loved ones. Amen.